Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily Jean if you haven't been here before and today finally another makeup video. I haven't done one in so long, like a legit makeup tutorial. So today we are going to do my updated everyday makeup just because I've gotten a lot of requests for it and my makeup has changed the products I use and just what I do on a daily basis. And whenever I'm posting on Instagram, this is the makeup I'm wearing when I wake up and I'm normally doing something that day, this is the makeup I am wearing. So, we're just going to run through it. This probably takes me 20 to 30 minutes, depending on how much time I have in the morning. Um, so, it honestly doesn't take me that long for the amount of makeup that I wear on a daily basis. So, I usually do a very full coverage face. I just love full coverage face makeup. And then my eyes are pretty simple. Um, I'm going to throw on false lashes in this video, but I don't always wear false lashes. We're just going to do that for the purpose of this video. So if you guys want to get ready with me and learn my everyday makeup routine, then just keep watching. I'm going in with primer. This is the first primer I use. It's the Smashbox Pore Minimizing Primer. And this one is amazing for just filling in my pores. So this is always the very first thing I do. Take a very small amount, use the tips of my fingers, and press it in right here. And I bring a little bit up on my forehead and around my mouth. Pores filled. I am wearing a shirt. I have to say that because I'll look naked at the time. So next I'm taking my second primer. I talked about this in one of my videos. I don't remember which one, but I have fallen in love with this. This is the Becca um, Backlight Priming Filter. So I use this primer more as a like glowy primer you'll see in a second. So I take just a pump of that and apply this all over my face. Just like a moisturizer. And it adds like instant glow. I'll even bring it down my neck and like onto my shoulders and stuff if I'm really feeling it. It's a really good base for foundation, but it also just makes your skin look very glowy and hydrated, but it doesn't have sparkles in it, which I love, because I've used a lot of glowy primers in the past that do have sparkles in it, um, and I've kind of stepped away from that. When I'm not wearing makeup, I still put that on just to have like a fresh glow and hydrated face. So next for foundation, one of my all-time favorite foundations is the Fenty Pro Filter, but I've talked about that enough on my channel, and I wanted to use a drugstore foundation today. I love the L'Oreal Infallible foundations. So they have a matte one and they have a glow one. I used to use the glow one all the time because I used to have a lot more dry skin. Now I have combination. So I have both of them. If I'm feeling more matte, I'll go with this one. If I'm feeling more glowy, I'll go with this one or I will mix them. Um, they last a really long time. They're very full coverage and both of these finishes are incredible. So I'm going to go on with my matte one today, especially because we applied the glow primer that kind of like helps balance out the matte foundation. The Infallible Pro Matte by L'Oreal. I think this is like under $10. Great foundation. I'm in the shade 107. So I just apply some to the back of my hand and then I dot it on my face. That's what I'm missing. My mirror. I was like doing my makeup without looking in the mirror. And I always apply some down my neck. That's very important. Then I'm taking my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. This is dampened. That's why it looks huge. This is my favorite beauty sponge, and I just tap this out. You can see it's a little yellow. Um, that's just because my skin does get red, especially when I'm in front of these hot lights. It's even more red than normal. But it will match with my body. Hey, Adam, look at that white purse. It's right here. My whole life is in this stupid cheap piece of crap. <laughs> okay, next for concealer, I'm going in with my Tarte Shape Tape. This is in the shade Light Sand. I actually normally use the Catrice Concealer, and I cannot find it anywhere. I used it early this morning, and now I can't find it. Check that one out too, because it is a lot cheaper, but this one is great too. So I'm gonna go in with this one. Um, they're both very similar. This one's just a little bit thicker. So I'm gonna apply that under my eyes, and obviously this is much lighter than my foundation my chin and on my forehead. I, I'm just going to tap this out and I like to use the pointed side of my beauty blender for this. You guys should see my desk right now. Normally when I film, everything is very neat and open. Oh my god, that proves a point right there. Oh, I found my concealer! Damn it. 
Guys, this video's a mess. I'm just in a rush. I have a very busy day, but I need to get this video up for you guys. That's dedication. Well, I found my Catrice concealer. It was hiding back here behind my ring light and camera. So this is the Catrice one. Um, check this one out. It is sold at Ulta and online. This one's really good, and I think it's like $5. I'm going to blend this out with my beauty sponge. And I just really tap in. You just want to press, press, press in. And I also take it up under my eyelid. Then I like going back in with the flat side and just kind of blending over everything to make sure the concealer and foundation match since they are such different shades. So next, I've kind of stepped away from translucent powders unless I'm doing like full, full glam. I've recently been using the Essence Brighten Up Press Powder. Again, this is like under $5. So cheap. This stuff is amazing. So I just kind of pat out my concealer and then I literally take my sponge and put it into the powder like that and press underneath to set so take it on my eyelids which is very important for the shadows and on my chin smile lines and up here so I don't really let it sit I obviously have more than I need on my face right now but then I go directly in with a big powder brush and I will just kind of make sure this is all blended out so next for bronzing and contouring, this duo has changed my life. This is the Park F Princess Tarte Palette, and this thing is such a good investment because you have four bronzer and contour shades, plus you have these two brightening shades, and these powders are actually very similar to the Brighten one I just used, so you could totally use these with your sponge to set and then use these to contour. So I normally take Princess Cut and Angle, it's one a more gray tone, and then the orangey tone, and I take that on my Morphe M530. This is like the best brush for contour and bronzing. So I'm just, I just go in there, like very simple. Just mix them both together and start chiseling out my cheeks. These are very, very pigmented, but they blend out so nicely. So I kind of do like in between contour and bronzing. I first make it kind of dramatic and then I start blending out. And I always take a little bit down the sides of my nose, not really contouring, just simple adding color. And remember, this is like my everyday, so I'm usually rushing and this is just like, I'm not being super precise about anything, but that's what's good about this look, is it just looks, even though it's full glam and a lot of makeup, it also looks very natural, because nothing is too precisely placed. So now I'm just warming up my temples and my forehead a little bit, just the perimeters of your face, just to make sure everything is coming together and the colors are correct. Now we have that done. I feel like I'm all over the place. I just want to apologize, um, but... I guess this makes this video a little bit more real, right? Okay, so now for blush, I've been using this brush, and I always get questions about these brushes. I bought them about a year ago off um, Showpo. It's like a clothing boutique, and I bought them just because I thought they were cute, and a lot of them actually work great, and they were really cheap. Like, I got a whole pack for like $25. So it's called the Jess Up Powder Blush Brush, and that's what we're going to use it for. So I have been loving the Maybelline Fit Me Blush in, I think the shade is 50? Shade Wine. Yeah, so they look like this, little square things. Again, staying with the drugstore theme. I've, like, just been loving drugstore makeup recently. So this is a really pretty, like, deep, mauve pink color with a little bit of shimmer. So I just apply that to my brush, and this brush is super soft, so it makes blending this out very seamless. I do a little smile and apply it to the apples of my cheeks and then bring it backwards to my contour. And I think this color is just very, very flattering. Um, and if you guys know me, blush is one of my favorite makeup products. So I kind of like a deeper toned blush. Always apply excess to my nose and chin. I always say this, you want everything to look uniform. So you want to apply products to multiple places of the face so they don't look random. So for my highlight today, I'm going to go in with the Emreezy Anastasia collab. This highlight is beautiful. It's like a really pretty champagne kind of more yellow toned and i'm taking this morphe m510 i love this brush it's like the perfect little fluffy brush it's kind of like a crease brush for your eyes but giant so i'm just going to take this and apply it to the tops of my cheekbones look at that to be honest i don't really go that crazy with highlight i love highlight and i feel like i need to have it but i don't go crazy 
And then at the tip of my nose, Cupid's bow, function. And then, because my shoulders and all this is exposed, which it normally is in the summer, I'm going to take this highlighter and apply it to my collarbones. I do this every time. Like, this makes such a difference. And then I apply it to my shoulders as well. Some of you guys are probably like, this girl is psycho. But, like, look how pretty that looks. You can even apply it to your boobs, too. The tops of your boobs. Just... Hey! We're closer now. I recently dyed my hair really dark and I used to have like blonde highlights so I would just fill in my brows pretty lightly but now that I dyed them dark I can make them very bold and I already have like naturally pretty dark and bold eyebrows lots of hair so I switched over to the Anastasia brow definer which is the thicker pencil has more of like the triangular shape and before I hated this pencil but for making a really dark bold brow I think this works a lot better and is a lot faster um, before I use the brow wiz so if you guys just kind of fill in your eyebrows a lot faster and easier I recommend the brow wiz um, but I've been using the brow definer and I'm in the shade medium brown comb them out and then basically I just fill them in like I already have my shape so I just fill in the sparse areas which are the tail and kind of the front of the brow And in between filling, I just kind of brush them to make sure this color is blending through. Boom! Those are big, bold brows. I look crazy because I have no eye makeup on. Now, you guys already know, Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. I've probably been using this since I found out makeup existed. And this just sets my brow hairs down. Bold brows. Yes, ma'am. Okay, we're going in with an oldie but a goodie. This is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette for your eyes. Love this palette. Um, I don't wear a lot of shimmer in my eyes. I'll usually just go in with the highlighter I used and add a little bit of shimmer. Um, but I normally just use matte browns for every day. So this palette is incredible. To start, I'm taking this yellow banana shade and just this flat brush and just setting down my eyelids. Next, just taking a normal crease brush, and I'm going to go in with this first just light mid-tone brown. Tap in there, and then just run this through the crease. Like, very simple. Like, I'm not trying. I could do this without even looking. So there, that's just like the first little crease, little bit of color. Now I'm going in with this flatter crease brush. This is from Sigma. I've had this for years. This is the E25. And I'm going to go in with this dark, like kind of a warmer tone brown. Coat my brush, tap off the excess, and I just pack this on the outer corner. Just pack, pack, pack right there on the outer corner and then kind of blend inward. Um, but you just want to pack the color on first, then we'll go back and blend out. So pack, pack, pack. Then we're going back in with this blending brush, a little bit more of that first lighter tone brown, and just kind of blending this out. Just want to blend out the edges for the most part. I'm going to keep that color pretty focused right there because we just want to kind of emphasize the outer part of our eyes. Now, of course, we just kind of copy what we did on our upper lid, so I'm taking this little pencil brush from Morphe, going in with that lighter brown shade, and just running this on my lower lash line. Then taking my flat definer brush and taking that darker color and pressing this to my lower lash line but making it a little bit more focused right on the outer corner just like we did on the upper lid. Eyes, done. So next for my eyes, I'm just going to curl my lashes like normal and then I'm going to apply mascara. I've recently been loving the... It's so big mascara. I'll link it down below. I get mine off Amazon. I tested this out a long time ago in like an Ipsy box and I just recently repurchased it. Love this mascara. So I'm going to apply this to my top and bottom lashes and then I'm going to apply some falsies. Curled. No mascara. I'm applying these Allure Lengthening Pack. Um, I think it's the 155. Yeah. So I love this brand. I'm always picking out different ones. I don't always wear the same style lashes, but I do love Eler lashes because they look good, they're easy to apply, and they're not super expensive. But I always buy like the multi-packs just because obviously you're saving money and I wear lashes often. 
that it is worth it for me to buy the multi-pack. So I'm going to do this. I usually use the House of Lashes glue. That's my favorite, but I am out of that. So I'm just using some duo um, glue. I'll show you it because I'm a good beauty guru. This. The duo like one with the little brush. The House of Lashes glue comes in like the same container. I just think the House of Lashes lasts longer, but we all we got is this, so this works too. Hello? Hey, this is Omar with ShipStation. I was reaching out for Emily. Yes, hi. And I'm a YouTuber, and I do a lot of online brand influence, so I'm starting to create merchandise. What, do you have an idea what shipping carrier you want to use? Did you do that? I did that the same day. I'm yeah, Wednesday. Yeah, so. so. Should work now? If you, I can help walk you through some steps to connect that. I'm actually about to run into a meeting, so can I call okay. you later once I'm on my computer? Okay, cool. Thank you. Absolutely. Have a good day. Bye. Business calls, guys. Merch is coming. Merch is coming. So I just applied my false lashes. They're pretty long and wispy. They're really, really pretty. Um, so last but not least, we have our lips. I've literally been using this lip liner since I started my YouTube channel. I wear it every single day. I probably own like 10 of them. The Milani Color Statement Lip Liner in 09 Spice. It's the wooden pencils. I love this color. It's just the perfect kind of like darker, um, warmer tone lip liner. And then I always apply something lighter over top. So I'm just going to line my lips with this and fill them in a tiny bit. And then I kind of change which glosses I use every day. Today I'm going to be using this MAC Lip Gloss in Signs of Spring. It's just a really nude, glossy lip. Um, sometimes I'll apply lipstick, usually just a gloss, some type of nude gloss. And this will just kind of mesh the lip liner all together. Okay, so I think that's the completed look. Very easy. Of course, this routine changes a little bit here and there depending on what blush I want to use for the day, what foundation. But for the most part, the eyes stay exactly the same and I just change out some products. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm so sorry for this video being kind of a mess. I'm literally headed out the door running to a meeting. I've been on the phone and my vanity is a true mess right now. Like, huge mess. Actually, I'm going to take a picture and I'm going to put it on the screen for you because you guys can see what I'm working with. Okay, look on the screen. That's what's going on that normally doesn't look like this, especially when I'm filming. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned a little bit more of what I do on a daily basis so you guys can try this at home. I know I get a lot of questions of what I do on a daily basis. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Definitely stop by on Tuesday for another EJB vlog episode. I post vlogs every Tuesday and main channel videos every Friday, usually around 3 p.m. Eastern time. So I hope you guys come back. If you haven't done it yet, hit that subscribe button and become a part of the family. I'd love to have you guys. Also, follow me on Instagram. I am always posting on there all the time. I'm answering messages, DMs, everything. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye! Stay here.